Welcome back, chat. Thank you. I'm going to be famous. Potentially, depending on if uh, Asmund picks me up or not as far as a content creator. I would love to do a bit with Asmund, but I am way too small. <laughs> One day is the hope. So I have... Yes, yes, it is a Maxor Video Kiwi. It is. I took a look at the Elden Ring video, and it was about 30 minutes. And so I said, not tonight. However, Max. <laughs> oh, you're going to find out real quick. Um... So, yeah, no, I have a little bit of Monster Hunter under... I, I haven't really played this game. I've played just enough. What was the fucking... Uh, the one that came out recently on Steam? I played a little bit of that one, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> have you watched... The, I have not. No, no, no. I thought it would be great to get a Maxor video out, you know, just to make sure that we were fixing all the PC issues and stuff like that. So we're going to go react to... Maxor's Monster Hunter World review and end quote or quote unquote extinction trademark colonialism trademark. I can already tell this is going to be fucking great. So let's, without further ado, let us go into this. Let us uh, get into this react, um, and then afterwards we got uh, we got we got more fun planned. Maxor, come on, man. It's the Jontron meme. Rubs hands together. Sell me some product. Tell me tell me the things. Oh, is it gonna work? Monster Hunter The World is an action style third person beat em up, slice em up, carve em up, drink em up, kill them all. Where you play uh -huh. as John World or the Joker and his normal cat as we find. Ma, wow, there's a weird fucking cat on my screen. ...and research the world's most amazing and charismatic megafauna so we can peacefully uh -huh. relocate them to the afterlife. Do yes. you ever regret not Urban being born in time to hunt Siberian. Oh like fucking core member lock. I used to see that fucking shit on TV in the fucking early 2000s. Jesus. Mammoth. Or perhaps you're the kind of man who open carries to the zoo, waiting for the day that the chimps become excited. If so, this game could be for you. Set in the hostile and exotic wasteland of Australia, we play as an inherently blood. I come from a land down under. <laughs> Women go and men flunder. My God, like the fact is that that song. I'm not old for knowing that song, right? Like that. That's a song everyone still knows, right? Uh, Gerber had repeated cats. Holy shit! Root core memory unlocked. That and a pup named Scooby Doo. Oh my God! It's if if I flash back too hard, I'm not gonna be able to finish this video. <laughs> Thirsty and violent race known only as Caucasoidus Anglicus, and we are here <laughs> to destroy the local environment as much as humanly possible, yeah. so I can wear it. Along the way, nice. overcoming many varieties of horrifying creatures. Un oh my God! That reminds me of the fucking foreskin dog. I I, I promise, chat, this is gonna make sense in a second. So there's a boss in the game. It's like this weird fucking white like skinned dragon thing that fucking flaps, and like it it's got it's it's white and then it's secondary color is like like red mane kind of things and you can fucking skin it and you can give your doggo your, your wolf uh friend you can give it uh, it to wear and it just looks like a giant foreskin and it's just it, i don't know it's weird monster hunter that that's all that this this is when people say monster hunter somehow that's how i tie it to monster hunter because that's the only experience i've seen playing with a group of people like one time like that that is the face of the franchise to me just just foreskin pup <laughs> Known to God, ranging from plausible and interesting specimen to yeah. fucking Thanos. And yes, I am reviewing Monster Hunter World and not Rise because the phrase Nintendo Switch port does not fill me with confidence. I'm sure it's a fantastic game, but this looks like an- Definitely seen Art of the Twins, definitely seen that. That is definitely something the internet got a hold of. Excellent Gary's mod map. So without further ado, it's time to explain to you my favorite animal cruelty simulator with a game attached to it. Yeah. so bad at this game. It's not even funny. It's been so long since I've last seen my son lost to this monster. Forced in fist most, Mobster Trucker is a game about options because there's a <laughs> few of them. At uh -huh. least three monsters are present in the game, possibly 94, and every one of them has two armor sets. To hunt after these amazing uh -huh. beasts and where to find them, you need to get into the mindset of our distant ancestors. You see... Hoster Lepithecus. <laughs> Hey, Max, are we bringing it back up again? Humans are what we call persistence hunters, which yeah. means we kill by running down our prey until they beg us for death. For reference, yeah. our closest competitors in a marathon are sled dogs and a horse. Imagine for a <laughs> moment that you're this big fucking turkey and it's almost uh -huh. time for Thanksgiving. After a long and arduous battle, you run away as far as you can, but every time you turn around, he's still there. And even worse... <laughs> There's an imposter among us. 
<laughs> Bird up, absolutely. It's wearing your skin. Uh -huh. This is the mentality you must adopt if you're to survive the wilds of Queensland. The mammoth deserves to be extinct because he was weak. Yeah, we arrive to this new world of possibility known as the Denny's parking lot as part of the fifth fleet of the research commission. Exploring and murdering uh -huh. this vast continent to track down the whereabouts of an ancient elder dragon. Now, as someone Sword. from a country who killed right. millions of people so we could grow fucking vegetables, <laughs> this is offensive. So when I heard that these bitches were doing it to find a lizard, I decided I would engage in genocide of my own volition. You will not need motivation to kill in this game. It comes about naturally, just like polio. And to bring about this time... It's awful because... Wait, why am I still in the fucking upper right? Hold up. Hold the fuck up. I, I can come down from here. <laughs> to those confused why I was in the upper uh, right, don't worry about it. I, I promise it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. I, anyways. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, polio becoming relevant again. Oh, too soon. Timely demise, we are given a choice of 14 weapons, all of them completely different from one another, like the light bow gun and the yep. heavy bow gun and nice. the bow. But let nice. me tell you, if I were stranded alone on a desert island, I would probably choose the fucking gun. Because the only people in this world that I trust are my two best friends, Smith and Wesson. This is why I chose the gun lance, which is what you think it is. Now, of course I could have chosen the literal machine gun, but playing with these weapons changes the game into a first person shooter where the objective is to keep the gun away from your mouth. Instead, I How is this? I promise it makes sense. All through watching, uh, watching chapter a little, I lied. <laughs> Who is the real imposter among us noises? I was drawn to the insect glaive because one, it lets me literally fly and the floor is paying taxes. Two, I get to lace a giant bee with C4 high explosives and throw it at people. And yes, there is an upgrade tree dedicated to bees. Three, I get to mount monsters and that lets me spam custom dialogue at everyone in the game. Side note. Can't tell if he's shit posting this on purpose. That is not the way I would have uh, would have worded. You can mount monsters. It really it was not, but it's it's here now. We can uh, we we can deal with it. <laughs> you can spam custom dialogue in the chat, so you're incentivized to do better and to fucking wrangle. <laughs> See, you can spam the lobby. You can fully Legend. customize your automatic callouts to preemptively diagnose the cause of your teammate's death, which is very funny. But your choice isn't just between weapon types, but also weapon elements. I won't get into it now since there are a few of them, but my favorites would have to include the dragon element, the sleep element, or even blast element. Every monster is weak to blast element. So with all these varied choices, chances are high that at least one weapon speaks to your specific mental illness. Just don't play the hunting horn unless you want rock band for engineering students. I've heard the hunting horn is legit. Don't worry, I know exactly why- Oh, oh, right. So people who don't know what's happening. So as I've said, to more organically control audio, I'm doing these on stream now. I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 too after this. And I'm, it's going to be the most fucking just just awful shit I've heard in years. And I'm going to love every fucking second of it. Because at that point, I'm home. Xbox Live Party 360 Party Chat was home for me. <laughs> Not that I was saying anything offensive or, or awful in the chat. But just to like, ah, yes. This is how people. <laughs> this is where people can let their inhibitions and masks slide off and be who they really are. Absolute fucking jackasses. And I'm here for this. <laughs> You're here. I too want to know what this thing's foreskin looks like on my mantelpiece. No, Fortunately, world has you covered. I haven't really See? explained this because it's in the title, but in this uh -huh. game, you hunt monsters. This doesn't just Me. mean killing them, although there is a lot of that. There yeah, th that fucking thing. Like, I'm not shitting you, chat. But this in this thing. game, you hunt monsters. This doesn't just mean- That thing. That thing. You fucking skin it, you put it on your dog, it looks like a fucking foreskin. It's fucking weird. At least not that- I've really seen one now that I think about it. But at least been told it looks like it. So you know what we're going with. I was playing the day. Legit, you saw people playing with the smoke alarm. Oh, battery. Oh my god. We have not actually lived 2008. This is going to be magical. I mean, killing them, although there is a lot of that. There's yeah. two ways to complete a hunt. Republican and Democrat. Both of them result in endless pain for the animal. Here's the difference. Killing them by slowly breaking each individual bone is a mercy. Capturing yeah. them will always give you more body parts than skinning them, which can include their skulls. The only logical conclusion is that we disassemble them like a crab factory and those are the lucky ones because the other ones are subjected to cockfighting and my
my bed always wins. <laughs> the gameplay of Angry Birds can best I'll be described as Bloodborne with no health bars. For most monsters, that's okay because counting broken bones is enough, but some of these bastards spend more time close to death than Joe Biden. In fact, while hunting, your prey will attempt to escape you several times and fail. Oh really, the entire gameplay loop is just finding new things to turn inside out and yeah. then fashioning yourself the perfect drip out of their intestines. Yeah. Of course, there's a lot of ways to build your swag with a myriad of skills like the fast food build, the eating less build, the eating for free build, and lest we forget, the mushroom consumption build. I'm sorry, you can become a mushroom mancer. Why have I not played this game before? Holy shit. I need to go back frames because I can't fucking read it. The meme is too strong. We have to go back a little bit further. The eating less build, the eating for free build, and lest we forget, the mush. Let's you digest mushrooms that would otherwise be an edible and gain their advantage. But you can become the Mushroom Mancer. Holy shit, that's meta. Mushroom consumption build to complete my ultimate McDonald's form. No self-respecting <laughs> hunter would ever think of going outside without slightly reducing the effects of minor wind pressure. <laughs> or you can uh, do damage like a fucking moron. Take your armor for a spin and throw a body in the bin. Repeat until you win. That's the entire game. This being said, yeah. there are complications. It's better to think of them like not like awesome. video game like, enemies, no, but it. very stupid cats. And like cats, these bitches are territorial. Sometimes even going so far as to beat each other to death. While oh my god. So the, what is it? The fucking... It's not Great Jagass. That's not who it is. The fucking uh, Devil Joe and the B-52 Bomber. How they're fun, like two of the fucking, what is it, hardest uh, free roam enemies in the game. But they, like, they'll get in territorial disputes with each other. And you're just like, I'm just going to let this fucking happen. These two enhanced monstrosities are just going for each other's throats. Like, I personally have not played this game. Uh, Rathal Is it Rathalos? I think so. It's the B-52 Bomber and fucking Devil Joe. I, I love Devil Joe. He's he he's the best pickle. Like, they just... <laughs> I've seen it vicariously through someone else I used to know who was playing it. And he's just, he's just like, nah, I just let him go at it. I'm not, I'm not getting in here. <laughs> Mount of some what? Is it still attainable? If so, I need to know how I get that. While I'm fighting them. But I think yep. my favorite example of this would have to be Mr. Nikon. This bastard is designed to wander into random battles, catch you in 4K HD, and then leave for literally no fucking reason. And if that doesn't suit your fancy, <laughs> there's always Bazinga Goose, whose uh -huh. sole objective is tracking you down across the map to yeah, carpet bomb you for the crime of playing the game. Yeah, doesn't he? This Doesn't this motherfucker get in like. Terror, like like disputes with Devil Joe, isn't the, isn't this the uh, uh, what's her, uh, what, uh, you can get it once you hit. Oh, okay, cool. When I get when I hit the sexing expansion, I'll do it. Yeah, these these motherfuckers just get in fights with each other, and it's fucking great. Now, I don't normally play Monster Hunter since I'm more of a Connect Four SpongeBob man, but the sheer variation be. on display here is really something. Every single animal has their own unique role, and mine is putting them into a museum. As a rule, for every single kind of beast, if violence does not work, use additional violence. Use violence. If violence does not work, use more violence. Step three. Is the target dead? No. See step one and two and repeat. <laughs> Now that we have a good understanding of our victims, it's time uh -huh. to take our domestic violence international, because this is a monster hunter world, one that makes no fucking sense, both geographically and ecologically, just like the real Australia. Someone from London, can you please verify if this is accurate? You can use more gun. Ah, yes. There's needs more gun. Requires more gun. Yeah. So upon beginning the game, we make our way across the dangerous but inoffensive lands of New South Wales, learning the basics, surviving, and expanding awful. our newly founded gulag of Sydney. This hell. <laughs> will be your base of operations for most of the game, complete with every kind of amenity you can expect from Savage Welshman. It's here that we rearm, research, and reforge my weapon again Savage because Welshman, I am indecisive. I There's even a pig that won't stop following me. You can- Dude, fucking unit. I'm sold on the pig. Like, a game 40 bucks on sale, fucking pig sold it. Tell, uh, sold it for me. I'm done. I'm sold. Pet it, but not too much, because what matters is consent. But most importantly, this <laughs> is where we use racial segregation, because for some reason, the only chefs in the entire camp are cats, and this uh -huh. is a very unsanitary cooking environment. You see, food uh -huh. isn't just a buff, and it's not just a cutscene. It's fucking mandatory. I Accurate. I've heard that food is, like, how you play this game. Like, you, you make the fucking dongo, you make whatever the fuck. Like, it actually is, like relevant and you do it or you fucking don't play the game. I mean, just look at the cardio. My body's an airplane powered by dead chickens. To put it simply, the game is unplayable with an empty stomach for yeah. two reasons. One, it looks like this. And two, I don't have to explain shit. The next areas on our Accurate. list are what I collectively call the stank tank. And to get there, we need to contact the third expedition fleet who have spent the last 30 years smoking weed in their spaceship. Oh my god. 
so high. This is pretty much why we're here. This new environment is firstly comprised of the Coral Highlands, which are filled with a beautiful and alien ecology, uh -huh. able to support a wide range of pit bulls and more literal balloon animals. From this point onward, biology is more of a suggestion, but looking just underneath the surface, we find the true source of this bizarre life. Uh -huh. It's death. The Rotten Vale is an area built to- Oh, is this the fucking stupid death dragon? I think I've seen it. ...designed to simulate San Francisco and is sustained only by the- Oh my god. San Francisco looks more like San Bernardino. At least I've been there. Moving on. <laughs> Miracle of rotting corpses and feces. You may be asking yourself some important questions right now, such as, can the smell kill me? Or how the fuck? As it turns yes. out, every monster in the new world has an inherent instinct to die here, specifically. Which begs the question, why do predators even exist if they can just wait? And also, yes, the- can you confirm a San Francisco that joke checks out? Cool, we ha we have it substantiated in the chat that it checks out. The stench physically hurts you. Technically, uh -huh. these are all the areas you need to beat the game by about 30%. Because upon uh -huh. entering our next area, Monster Hunter turns up the heat and scales every monster back to being threatening again. Yes, Awful. even the Great Jagrussi. That means more- Great Jagrussi. My brother in Christ, how have I not heard of this before? I've heard of Great Jagras, which actually it is. I've heard of Great Jagass. Okay, cool. Checks out. Makes sense. Great Jagrussi. What? I, I feel like I have like committed a grave sin on the internet for not knowing this. I, I will have to uh, find some way to atone for my fucking sin. More weapons, more armor, and even more temptation to kill every mammal larger than myself. <laughs> Again. It's safe to say Again. that this game has a time requirement. So after uh -huh. 30 hunts or so, we finally arrive to the temperate lands of Western Australia. You know, the state that lost a civil conflict with flightless birds. Okay, so in their defense, because I actually know a little bit about this, in their fucking defense, the feathers on fucking emus are so tightly fucking packed that even a 50 cal won't go through them. It was less that they lost, and technically they lost. The gun fucking jammed from my understanding. The these fucking birds are fucking just machines. These birds are fucking indestructible. Like, we want to shit on Australia for this. Australia was at a huge disadvantage because emus. Like, holy shit. Fortunately for us, biology is no longer a suggestion. Uh -huh. It's a restraining order. We've got fish that swim through molten magma, lizards that eat rocks, and of course, my personal favorite animal, Thanos. His main attack is the crush force of his rock-solid chin. <laughs> Although I do think they could have worked on the whole controlling the monster mechanic a little better. It really breaks down when you oh. encounter the fire. But among the many features of this game, we haven't even gotten close to the train wreck that is the story. After all, there is a reason we ventured into the land of unusual thermodynamics. It's just a real bad reason god has forsaken this game my boy in urban rescue ranch would let you know how tough emus are you know i i i'm i would re i would do this i, w I would fucking watch it like I i've heard the emus are fucking just monsters they're indestructible i can't blame australia for losing that war <laughs> First of all, we can tell that this game is a literary masterwork by the fact that characters uh -huh. do not have names. Who can forget such personalities as the Handler, the Commander, and a fucking Ganondorf? The fucking Ganondorf, that's the one. Story is comprised of two major arcs. Where in the world is the 50-foot tall lizard? And gee, I wonder what Ganon is up to. Both. Where in the world is the 50-foot tall lizard? That sounds like something I would say. That sounds like something I would do and genuinely not know where the fucking lizard is. Both of which are made excessively worse when the game automatically sets the handler to be in a cat suit. And at this point, I'm afraid of turning it off. Okay, one last thing, everyone. Nope. If I see anyone else on this fucking ship say the words Nekopara cosplay, I will invert your penis with my foot. For the camera's not tracking me too well. But I'm, mis I'm mischievously grinning is all I'll say. Or the first arc of our multiple stage manga that ends in a sex scene. We chase after the- Maxor, did you have another fucking doujin art of you? No, th that's not what I just saw. No. My foot. For the first arc of our multiple stage multiple manga stage. that ends in- Okay. In a sex scene. <laughs> It's funny because it's wholesome too, what the fuck? We chase after the amazing boss fight Zora Magdaros as we apparently forget the location of a giant kaiju several so times. Cool. This <laughs> being said, you don't want to find him because his boss battle is an environmental puzzle primarily comprised of loading cannonballs for 30 minutes and then waiting for the boss to move uh, very slowly. That yeah, I heard he's kind of a fucking bitch. 
because of his fucking time restraint. Like, because it takes so much time. Wait, we can penetrate him with our oddly phallic spear that, uh, extends when needed. And for the second arc of our new Genshin anime on Spike TV, we team up with- Wait, is there an actual Genshin anime? Did I fucking miss this? I, I will watch Raiden Shogun and, and Ganyu the anime, like, in server. I will fu I'll fucking do it. Don't fucking tempt me. Ganon to discover new and amazing Elder Dragons all across the continent. And of course, I mean discover like the Vikings meant trade. This is where some of the toughest and most annoying bosses in the entire game happen. Featuring uh -huh. such great fights as Nergigante, whose name I cannot say with a hard R, the COVID Beast, and my personal favorite, Margaret Thatcher's Nightmare. Of oh my god, not Margaret Thatcher. What about the milk? You motherfuckers. Of course, there is more to this game because there's always more. But yeah. that is basically how you beat the first half. Neat. So, there's an expansion for this game that is more expensive than the game itself, which <laughs> doubles the content and the playtime. I'm gonna be fucking real, guys. I'm not covering that shit. This video is supposed to be short because I made it while on vacation. And vacation for me means working eight hours a day. This game is... I'm just... That got a little too real. I, got a little, I feel for you, Max, but that got a little too real. With Margaret Thatcher. Like, any... <laughs> Margaret Thatcher is just one of those people, like, just apolitically, right? Margaret Thatcher is one of those people... Margaret Thatcher and apolitical in the same sentence, I know. It's a fucking conundrum, don't you know it? Um, Is one of those people that, if you've heard of her, especially if you're in anywhere in, like, Europe, like, I guess technically... Great Britain, I guess. Like, you'll have an opinion one way or the other. She's just one of those fucking people. Lengthy, and you should definitely play it if you have the time. But in my I current mental state, I do not. So with the release of Elden Ring, I think it's time to move on to a better project. This is basically a Max or Filler episode. And if you like World, then just get the Iceborne expansion because it's more of the same, but twice as tall and most of the monsters are on crack. And just... I heard that the fucking... I think they had like a hook shot or something like that. Like... To the, to the game in Iceborne. I heard it was legit. To prove it, half of the footage in this review is Iceborne. This is a game that I believe you have to experience because there's just so much, and yet, so little time. It, it, is this an actual cat-like suit, or is this the mod? I can't tell. I can't tell because it's a Japanese game. The Thanks for watching, like, guys. I got spurs. Look, all I'm saying is if we, we like, spam Maxwell's comments... And please don't spam Maxwell's comments with this. All I'm saying is if we go and, like, ask Max for beach episode when, I'm sure at some point he would have to oblige, because legally, as a weeb, he is contractually obligated to have a beach episode at some point. That jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle, oh as I go riding oh, merrily so much Christmas music. No. Jingle, jangle. And they sing. Oh, you know, you ain't you that watch time. Jingle, jangle, jangle. And that song ain't so very far from wrong. Uh -huh. That was fucking beautiful. I loved every minute of that. Oh my god. I have not played Monster Hunter. I really don't. Like, I've not played any of the older ones. I've not played any of the newer ones. Well, I played a couple of, like, the newer ones for, like, not long. This was enlightening, to say the least. I will fucking say that. This has been beautiful. Is it not Christmas music? I can't fucking tell anymore. My brain is numb. It's it it was immediately after fucking Spooktober ended. We just go, went into the music, and I'm just like, I can't. My my brain can't. <laughs> so any like any like thing that sounds familiar or similar to it, my brain just refuses to work. But anyways, so for those of you on the React channel, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed another Maxor video, uh, Maxor reaction video thing. Um, this should be coming out middle of this week. But uh, those of you on the stream, I'm gonna go make sure to cut the vod. I'm gonna make sure to do the thing I need to. Um, I'm going to go start the, the Modern Warfare 2, 2 thing. So, yeah. Till then, have a good one, React Channel. Those on stream, stay tuned. I will be right the fuck back.